What's up guys, Willie here with Team Wild Car Fishing and I uh, want to get back and do a video that we've done in the past but haven't done in a while and that's an unboxing. Uh, got an order in from Tackle Warehouse and it was the uh, Memorial Day sale. And uh, they had a pretty decent sale. Their sale, for the most part, was normal as far as it was 15% off. But um, if you were military, you got an extra 10% off. So that was super cool. And uh, you know, they're looking out for the troops and stuff. And, um, if you're a troop out there, thanks for your service. And uh, but back to this, I got a couple things that um wanted to get. Uh, Chris was eyeing a couple things. I I got a couple things, so uh, I'll crack into it and kind of show you what we got. free shipping and um, I got five dollar off code and uh, so, so we got some good stuff in there I'm gonna talk about it all right so first of all I got some of these VMC drop dead hooks and we use these kind of with our Senkos and um, the, like I use the fat aces and the, and the regular aces from Gambler and uh, this just gives a little bit of weight and you can kind of Texas rig it so if we're throwing like on a bait cast or something got a Texas rig this is the way we throw it and I got, I think, four packs of these, and they were the 4 aught 16th ounce. So, four packs of those. Um, Chris wanted a couple packs. He couldn't find these. These are the Yamamoto Senkos, and this is the black with red flake. So, picked up two bags of those. All right. Um, these Bandit Flat Max crankbaits, they're pretty good. So I've got a couple of those. Let me see my little packets up here. Pick these up. Saw a little crank right there. They die four to eight foot, and this is the silver minnow sparkle color. Um, they make a deep version of the same same bait. But um, let me see, was that was that what we ordered? Was two of those? I guess that's right. Yep, it's two of them. Let's see if I can get that up there a little bit better for you to see. So it's a little bit longer square bill, but it's flat sided. So, um, good bait. Got a lot of fish on those. All right, uh, got a couple of the Booyah Toad Runners, and this is a more natural color. This was the uh, Leopard Frog. Uh, I've been throwing the Bone one, and I absolutely love it. I've missed a ton of fish on it, had some monster blow ups, and got one hooked, but I've yet to get one in the boat with it. But um, I think I just gotta fiddle around with the hooks and then uh, they might be on to something. But I got two of the more natural colors and I ordered, there's one on back order that should be here and it's, um, I got the black. I think it might be called Night Train. It's like black with blue, I think. And, uh, but more often than not, I don't really look at the top of the frog, I look at the bottom and I know you can't really see that. I can pop this open. But, um, I look for something that's like, like the reason I throw the bone a lot is um and I can't get into the oh here it is. Lee's and I throw the bone a lot. Oh well, here's actually got the bone one rigged up right here. I'll kind of show it to you. Is if you look at the belly of them, not a huge difference. I mean this one's got a little bit more uh pearl kind of color to it with a little bit of accent with the yellow. And I like that that bullfrog color on this bait and the bullfrog color was a lot more yellow on the bottom, so I went with the whiter one, and um, yeah. So I, I, I like the, I like these these baits. I think they're gonna do well. But uh, yeah, this one I've actually had some monster blowups on. That's the the bone one, and then I got a black, like I said, on back order. Um, some spinner bait trailers. And this is just a chartreuse. Uh, let's see, what are these? Oh yeah, Chris wanted a couple of these, um, like underspins, and this is the uh, owner flashy swimmer, and this is uh, a five uh, quarter ounce. He wanted to throw these on them gambler big EZs. So, and this is with a um, with a willow, and then he got these ones. This is a three aught three sixteenth 
with a um, Colorado. And um, the cool thing about these, they got the centering pans on them and all that. And, and like I said, they're uh, owner makes some great stuff. I, I really like owner. So. And last but not least, other than like I said, the back ordered bait, which is like I said, the, the black version of this Toad Runner Frog. But um, this is the gear on, and uh, I've thrown that gantrel a whole lot. And uh, I actually thought this would be a tiny bit bigger than this, but I wanted something kind of a little bit smaller than that Gantrel Junior. And uh, this thing looks this thing looks pretty solid. And this usually runs twenty dollars, and um, we got it on sale. I'll go back over everything and let you know what we paid for it. Let me get this open. So yeah, it's a slow sinking bait. And one good thing, even the gantrel, and they got that 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 body slapping it and makes a makes a funky sound to it. But yeah, it's a good looking bait, man. Something to throw around these little uh, like the beds and and even when the when the brim are spawning, bluegill are spawning, just throw that up around there. And this color is uh, ghost bluegill. So this is the the gear on right here. This one is four inches and weighs three quarters of an ounce. That usually runs twenty dollars, and I got it for sixteen ninety nine. So can't wait to get out there and try that. All right, these um, the Toad Runners are usually ten dollars, and got them for eight forty nine. All right, and um, the Toad Runners come with an extra tail in them. So, and the cool thing about these tails is you can they have a wire in them, so you can bend them. So if you bend it and make it more aggressive plopper. So it's technically, like I said, like a soft bodied whopper plopper that you can chunk up in the grass and retrieve it. I mean, it's a, it's a great idea. I like it. I just haven't been able to land one yet. I've got, like I said, five or six monster blow ups on it. And, um, so these flashy hooks, they were 424. I think they were something around like $6. So it was like 424 for those. Uh, these flat max crank baits were 577 a piece, and the spinner bait trailers were two dollars and 46 cent after the discount. These drop dead hooks were 246 after their discount, and these are four aught, like I said, and coming a um, coming a four pack. And the Senkos were 637. So, not a super, super great deal on them. I mean, uh, Walmart sells them for about that, but they don't have that color, so that's what we were looking for. But, all right, guys, uh, let us know what you think. Um, you know, check out some of our videos. We'll have some cool stuff coming up soon. Uh, check out our, our, our tournament footage this year. See, we actually got some good catches on film and stuff. And uh, and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully y'all like it. And Until next time, guys. Stay wild.